Hello everyone, I am Ritika Ori from Management Bliss channel and in this video we will see how to find out the sprints which have been completed already. That is how to search or find out the previously created sprints which are not active right now. So before starting I just wanted to let you guys know that very soon I'll be launching a detailed course on Jira and it will reflect the real industry experiences and will have the real world examples. So stay tuned for more and looking forward for your support. Now let's see what is in this video. And for that let's go to the left hand side of our screen and currently we are on the backlog of my project and now I would like to click the report section over here in the left. Let's click. Okay, so let's go to the sprint report straight away. And this is a place where you can find out the latest sprint and all the previously done sprints. So on the top under the sprint report section you will see a drop down where you will see all the previous prints and find out the information related to those prints. So I'll just go to the first print and here if I scroll down I can see all the different data related to this print and what all has happened to this print etc. Now if I move to some other sprint again I can get all the different information like what all issues were the part of sprint and the issue type, priority, what was the status, the story points. All this information can be retrieved from the sprint report and I can even view all these stories in a separate tab in an issue navigator. So let's just open it. Yeah, all these issues are over here and within the issue itself, you can find out that what all sprints was this issue associated with. Like you will be able to get the information that was this issue completed in a single sprint or it took more sprints and if yes, then what all sprints were those. Okay, now I'll just go back and Simply we can see the issues over here and if we have an asterisk sign along with our issue key then it means that the issue has added to the sprint after the sprint has started. So all those information and a lot of information like when was the sprint closed, when was it started, like how was the performance, all that information we can get from sprint reports. Now, if you have confluence pages as well set up with your sprints then from here that is view link pages you, you can go to that particular information or those particular confluence pages as well. So this is a simple way to find out what has happened in the past sprints and that was all in this video. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video.